Ah, endless runners. You either love them or hate them. And because there's no shortage of them on the App Store, when a new one comes along, it needs to be pretty special in order to stand out from the crowd. It seems that Zach Banak has nailed this with his new title, Jutpka. Jutpka, which is a shortened form of Jetpack, because who needs vowels anyway, is a score chaser and, similar to Jetpack Joyride, only has one button. Tapping on the screen causes your Jetpack to activate and will send you upwards. Where it differentiates itself is that there's no floor or ceiling. You're able to walk right to the other side of the screen, which can be very helpful in a pinch. Each level gives you a specific amount of time and it's your job to score as many points as you can until the timer runs out. Passing through gates serves two purposes. The first is that your score multiplier is increased and the second is that two seconds are added to the clock. If you happen to miss a gate, your multiplier is dropped to zero and you'll lose five whole seconds from the clock. In addition to the gates, there are orbs to collect, which will add points to your total based on your multiplier, and a huge assortment of power-ups that can either help you, like a magnet that helps you collect orbs, or power-downs that can severely cripple your progress, like the one that swaps gravity, for example. Each round is broken up into levels. After a predetermined time passes, you'll be pushed onto the next, which slightly increases the game's speed. Transitioning between levels allows you to pass through a long series of gates packed closely together. These gates will only increase your multiplier, going through them won't add time to your clock. At first glance, you may think that the game wouldn't appeal to you. The graphics are very simple and there doesn't seem to be much going on. Fortunately, thanks to very solid gameplay, smooth animation and amazing music, Jutpka presses all the right buttons. There's an impressive amount of achievements to unlock, but these, along with leaderboards, are limited to the local device, as there's no game center functionality included at the moment. Zach has assured me that he's working hard on getting this added in a future update. As is often the case with these types of games, I often find myself blocking the view of oncoming obstacles because I'm right-handed. Jitka definitely plays better on the iPad's larger screen. The game's universal and will set you back 99 cents at the time of this review. This has been another episode of Alex's iOS Game Reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great iPhone and iPad gaming content. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.